It's about 8.45 right now, and I just have a couple things to share. Um, just woke up not too long ago and uh, had a mild, again, a mild lucid dream experience. So this one was, was pretty cool. Um, though, first of all, I haven't posted any videos recently because I've actually been in Ottawa for uh, the past couple days because a film that I directed, it, it was shown to the Parliament of Canada. So that's kind of a pretty big deal. And uh, the film's called If I Should Fall. So for those of you who haven't heard about it, please check it out. You can watch the trailer online. And if you're interested, you can order a copy and learn more about it. The film is about Canadian soldier, military, or fallen soldiers in Afghanistan. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's the other stuff that I do when I'm not doing my dream logs and all this consciousness stuff. So anyways, with that said, um, just uh, a... a before my lucid dream, I actually had a, a dream earlier tonight that, that I remembered, and it's just like kind of a funny thing, because uh, I just remember me and my friends, we were driving through a cemetery, and I think it was like the National Cemetery uh, in Canada, so it, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but anyways, we were driving through the cemetery, and there's a bunch of us, and um, and then we like got out of the car all of a sudden. Um, well, first of all, I, I remember seeing like giant squirrels on the hill, but I couldn't tell if it was like giant squirrels or like a miniature scaled version of the hill or something. Doesn't matter. So we got out of the car and then, I don't know, this is just kind of funny. That's why I'm sharing it. And we got out of the car, all of us at once. And then as soon as I get out of the car, I like turn around and there's like five or six like skunks just sort of like walking around. And I guess we didn't see them. And I was just like, oh no. And I was like, legitimately kind of freaked out in the same way that you would actually be freaked out if you like turned around and there was like six skunks there so I was like oh no and I was like guys guys what do we do what do we do and I was like kind of backing up and, and one of them like started moving towards me and stuff and I was like oh you know but anyways it didn't end up um it didn't end up spraying me thank god because if not I wouldn't be here recording this video I'd have to be like covering myself in like dream tomato juice right now so that's the good news, but, um, anyways, so the lucid, um, experience that I had this morning, similar to my last video when I posted and I talked about how if you wake up in the morning, do something, just do, wake yourself up, don't eat any food or anything, and then go back to sleep. This is going to help because you're, you're just going to be able to go back to sleep with a little bit more mindfulness. So I did this and I was, I was, um, I went back to sleep at about like 8 a.m., so only about 45 minutes ago. And uh, first of all, I guess with this, there there are like the visceral sensations associated with like the lucid dreaming state. So it, it, it's it, you, you, it's it's being very aware of of the fact that your body is going through this state, but not to the point where you lose your focus. So like. You, you want to be aware of it, but you don't want to be like, be like, all right, it's happening. And like, and, and by it happening, I mean the visceral sensations of like energy and sort of vibration. And sometimes there's like auditorial, um, tones. There's like high frequency tones that you can hear. And it sort of feels like you're like starting to sink into your bed. Or you're sort of falling through it. Like you, you know, you're in, you're in your bed, but it just it feels different. And you're not like in a dream in the same way. So this was happening to me, and so I was aware of this. I was like, all right, I know the sensation. I've had it before. I'm capable of lucid dreaming right now or astrally projecting, so to speak, because, I mean, it's kind of one and the same. So then I was like, all right, like, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay, I'm going to get out of my bed. And then basically, like, as I, like, go to get out of my bed, I just sort of, like, fall off my bed onto the floor, but, like, not literally, like, just in, in a dream sense. So then I was like... And so then I was on my floor and then I was like, all right, like, I'm definitely not like actually on my floor. I'm just like lucid dreaming right now. So then I was like, all right, so I have to test this. I have to, the first thing I did, I like reached over to um, the side of my bed and I like put my hand through the side of my bed and just sort of like put it inside of my bed. Cause that's like one of the things that like when you're dreaming since the astral, the, like the astral dimension, so to speak, that we're in when we're dreaming, like it's less, it's less intense. Because like um, 
because it's only like within like this physical dimension that the illusion of things being solid exists so like as you go up in dimensions like when you go into the state when you dream like things aren't as dense there's you might think that they are but if you actually test it you know that you can like put your hand through objects or float around or teleport at will things like that so anyways so i put my hand through my the side of my bed and I was just like, all right, you know, and be like, okay, this is cool. And then I was like, what else can I do? And then what I did, I like took my hand and well, I can't really do this, but I had like my other hand like perpendicular and I like put my hand like through my other hand, which was like really trippy in, in a sense. So I was like, had my hand like through my other hand and I was just like, oh, so that was just a really interesting sensation. And I was like looking right at it and stuff. So, and then what happened at that point, I was, I was like, oh man, like this, I was just kind of like really excited or something, and then I sort of lost it, and I didn't like wake up right away, but I sort of like, and, and when, when you're in like that sort of lucid dream state, you're like seeing things as if you're like actually awake, like it feels like you're like looking around as if I'm looking around right now, but when I sort of like lost my focus, it sort of, I just like went back to like the, um, like that vision, that, that sight that I had sort of go somewhere it disappears and I, and I sort of just like go back to like me having my eyes closed and what you would see when you just have your eyes closed opposed to it looking like your eyes are open and stuff so um that was my experience basically so that was kind of cool and um yeah I'm actually probably just gonna be awake for a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna try going back to sleep again um just for no more than another hour before I get going with my day so that's a uh, yeah and then I'll I'll post another addition to to this like a part 2 if I do have more success lucid dreaming but if not then um that just means that whatever I'll I'll post another video another day so but guys thank you for following uh me so far in this uh it's helping me keep my interest and and, and if it makes it makes it easier for me to dedicate my focus to sharing this dream experience when I know that there are people who are also having their own dream experiences and they're interested in the fact that I'm sharing mine and I encourage you to share yours so you know like I don't have to be the only one making a video dream log by all means share it with yourself and uh, it'll be interesting consider it an experiment so it's really all it is so again thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned I'm gonna have some new videos posted uh, that aren't dream log videos uh, those will be posted within the next couple days but in the meantime feel free to watch any of my other videos and join the paradigm shift Facebook page and until then I will talk to you guys later see you in the astral